Hello, I'm John Proxon on channel Jumble West, and I'm having a Valiant Hearts adventure. Uh, I'm not moving behind this. Maybe I should have when he reloaded. Get in the trenches, get in the mud. Alright, I've got to cut something. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was against me. Why did I punch that? I was stupid, John. Alright. That was a, wasn't the best of starts, gonna be honest. I've got to cut this quickly. But don't punch that. Now I punch it. Now stop. Oh yeah. Right. Two, three, two. I can just sort of leave these all over the place. Um, right. Probably should not have done that. Uh, right. Two, three, two. Okay, catch. I don't know how to move him. Um, oh, I see. That's why he rejected it. Because he wanted a two. I didn't know you were in one of the positions. Alright, alright. I got it. I got it. Alright, that's making sense. I'm just throwing my free. Make sure I'm recording, I am cool. Might be a bit of weirdness in the last video. I, th I think it's all good. Hang on. What did I throw in? Oh, was that a four? Alright, cool. There's a lot of TNT down here. No, I don't need help. I know what the puzzle is. Alright, uh, well, I don't want to blow it up while you're there. Oh, he's off. Well, let me do the honours, obviously. Lovely! Let's grab some TNT for the road. Ooh. The uh, Kukuri knife. The Kukuri knife was used by Gurkhas, the British unit comprised of colonial Indian troops. This Nepalese weapon was standard issue and became a symbol of the Empire's forces. Its heavy, thick and curved blade was designed for striking as well as cutting. Uh, oh, I see. Up. No! We're gonna help him for now. Let's get it. Yes, a friendship was born. And I've got. Do you need help? Yes. Alright, stop fucking about. I can save the dog. Come on. Yes, I can cut things with my cutting powers. There you go. That dog would probably be heavily injured, but I'm going to go with the cartoon physics. Yeah, I, I cut it. Using cutting powers. Oh, yes. 
I can free you. Yes, freedom. I did something with the flag. Oh, he's got he's got his son-in-law's on the wrong side. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. But we can sort it all out by being giant burly men. Ending attacks and counterattacks. Freddy and Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment in Eden. Right. Oh, and at least I get to call the video soon. Oh, On somebody's breaking laws. Chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. <laughs> Ah. ah, yeah, yeah, send the dog, send the dog. I don't want to send the dog. Ah, oh, I know there's bears in here. Right. Stay low. Go, go, go! Not sure how that worked, but go dog. A right, new diary unlocked. Let's read the diary. So, um, yeah, Freddy's got a new one. Right, uh, I missed him by a whisker. It won't happen again. My younger brother's letter was sweet. It gave me a real boost. It's good he's back in the States, a mile miles away from this nightmare. That kid has a knack for getting himself into trouble. Uh, this is March 10th. On the March to Belgium, where this damned regiment is stationed, I'm not alone at least. I met a funny old French farmer guy, Emil. Doesn't say much, but if I understood right, his son-in-law's German. How crazy is that? Not a day goes by that I don't dream of you. And of course, uh, Emil... Yeah. Uh, at last I found Emil, just moments before the shells started flying. I hope he managed to dodge the bombs. The letter he showed me filled my heart with joy. Marie is well and Victor is growing up. That's all that matters. There we go. Um, I guess I should look at the historical facts because I'm in a new place. Yeah. The uh, Battle of Ypres. I, I, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Ypres was a key strategic town in Belgium, especially for the British. It was the gateway to the north and thus to Britain. Canadian troops were deployed in the front line and they proved their endurance and dependability in combat to the Allies. 6,000 Canadian lives were lost in the battle in April 1915. First gas attack. April 22nd, uh, 1915, at Ypres came the first gas attack in history. 5,730 cylinders of chlorine were opened by the Germans in favourable winds. Chlorine gas burned uh, caused burns to eyes, skin and lungs, even through clothes and rubber boots. Effects were devastating. The only defence found by the Canadians was to cover their noses with urine-soaked handkerchief. And you can see a picture of that there. That's, that's harsh. Zeppelin bombardment. Bombard... So I've got a little bit of a cold. Zeppelin bombardment. Zeppelins were invented in 1900 by German Count von Zeppelin. I had no, I did not know. That should have been really obvious. But the first long-distance flight it didn't take place until 1908. Zeppelins weren't much slower than the aircraft of the period and were first used in reconnaissance. They could also fly at higher altitudes, so from 1915 they were used to bomb civilians in London and Paris. The Dogs of War. It is estimated that... It, by 1918, the Germans had employed 30,000 dogs, while the Allies employed 20,000. Dogs were recruited from dog pounds and the police force, while many families also enlisted their pets. Dogs had a number of roles as sentries and scouts in postal liaison and equipment transport, in locating casualties and explosives, and as mascots. The main breed deployed were German Shepherds, Doberman, Pinschers, and Bouviers. There we go. And there's one right here. Let's make sure I'm recording. I am. We are about 10 minutes in. So. Something to do this. Oh, what you got there? Alright. Alright. Uh, 
I don't want to go near the quarry. What have you found? I thought he was digging something, but... Oh, there we go. He's digging again. Are you digging a particular thing or what? Oh, let's go back. Keep digging that one spot. I wanna know what he's digging for. Oh hang on. Can you stand here? I don't know why I asked him to stand there. Right. Um Maybe there's something I missed at the start. I know this is this game wants me to run right, so running left seems counterproductive. And I it was, I was wrong to try in my mind. Left even, whatever. You know what I mean. Alright, I need to I need to cause this to come down. I need like a bonus thing. I there's something underneath, there's a hole. But um There we go, good doggy. I got a trophy for her. Ah, uh, thank you, you play. Uh, if I go past that, I'll die, won't I? Yeah, there we go. That was done, John. I can't tell what I'm supposed to do. I think so. I'm trying to figure out what really obvious thing I'm forgetting to do here. I'm telling him to goddamn dig. Alright, Emil, can you help me out? What the hell am I supposed to do? It does at least warn me not to go up there. Can we dig? Oh, I can dig, god damn it. Alright. <sighs> right. Okay, let's get that thing. That's a Canadian uh, identification tag. At the start of the war, Canadian identification tags were formed by large aluminum... Uh, sorry, uh, I'm English, I don't know why I said that. Aluminium disc, which was because they were an emergency issue and had a unique shape. They were soon replaced by standard British tags, as were those by of all British Empire forces. There we go. Is that all of them? No, I've got loads left. Okay. But let's bring it... Uh, that's downwards, John. Bring that. No, 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 no. Hmm. I'm not, uh, not sure what I'm doing. It's going to be really obvious. I can't go back up. Hang on. Hmm. Well, I don't have many options. So let's bring that down. Let's climb over it and see if I'm supposed to dig past it. No. No, I'm not getting a hint. I'm going to figure this out. Hmm. 
my d uh, oh, hang on. Let's look at that again. Ah, I see these are per level. I feel like I might have missed a load of them. There we go. God damn it, John, it was obvious. I thought like I had I feel like I tried that, but I'm not smart. Hmm. Man the controls for me. There we go, super dog. Right, yes. There's a chlorine machine, an evil chlorine machine. Poison the dog, shall we? No, I don't want to do that. That's even worse. Uh, not sure what I did there, but hmm, that's interesting. Uh, what the hell am I actually trying to achieve here? The dog definitely can't go past that. So if I really wanted, I could send gas up, uh, upwards like that, yeah? Oh, I did forget something there. Let's pick up this item. Urine soaked cloth. The only defense against a gas attack before masks were introduced was to cover the nose with a urine soaked handkerchief. Urine reacts with chlorine directly in the handkerchief to form less noxious products, limiting the effects. It was not the most hygienic solution, but it was always better than a lung full of hyd hydrochloric acid. So I've got the option for the dog to do this. I figured out what to do. Right, uh, that must have just spun one and not two of them, but it's fine. Let's pull this up because I need to stack them. I'm aware, doggy, don't I? Uh, yes, I want you to pull that up. We're going to need to do this. Like so. Okay, I'm on the wrong side. Let's swap sides. That's about right. That's my dog. Uh, down, please. Let's drag it backwards. So I'm up. Because what this is going to do is that's going to bump that up. There we go. Just have to. There we go. I destroyed the chlorine machine. That's definitely how that worked. Oh, 
Oh, and they were nice enough to take a ladder down. Go, Emil! Let's go to the right. There's nothing for us at the left. Ah, oh, it's the Zeppelins. Okay. Okay, yeah, run, run faster, run faster. Ah, right, we've gone different ways. I know he's gone. Gas canister deploy deployment strategy. Gas canister deployment strategies were strategies were simple, but they did depend on the weather, especially on winds. Gas was required. Uh, required. John, you can't talk today. Gas use required a constant downward. Gas use required a constant downwind towards the enemy lines to avoid the gas returning to its sender. Any battle plans were therefore dependent on the weather forecast. There we go. Something I don't know what. Get in. There we go. Teamwork. Alright, so we're not quite at the end yet, but uh, we're close. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need. Let's pick up that. So, uh, pocket watch. Uh, time was an important factor in soldiers' lives and military strategies for attacks, and rolling barrages were based on tight chronologically. Uh, chronological synchronicity, but um, pocket watches were the only way to tell the time. Let's keep running, shall we? Go teamwork! Come on, dog! Yay! Action! Her name That's was uh... a Belgian student living in Paris. She was hard on the trail of her missing father. For once, fate smiled on them. They were all going in the same direction. But while approaching Vimy, a German squadron spotted them. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to have to let you guys go. Um... But that's there we go. Um, I've been John Prox and told John West having a, a valiant heart, the Great War adventure. I'll see you guys next time.